Hello everyone, welcome to your new watch. Today's video is concerning a rather specific set of students who are from the non-math background. The first question which arises to you is, can non-math students clear IP math? And the answer to it is very simple. Obviously you can. There are students from my batch as well as previous batches who have not only cleared IP math, but are also doing exceptionally well in their math courses of the IPM program. So you might need a little bit of extra effort and a bit more of time, but you win and you can do it. So let's see on some tips. A basic roadmap of what you can follow is start with the basic math, that is the foundation in math, which are from your sixth to 10th standard, and then go on to your 11th grade and 12th grade maths. And as I told, a little bit of extra effort. Why this extra effort is needed is because for students from math background, they are preparing for their boards and your IP mat. So it is like they're preparing at once for both the exams. But since you are from the non-math background, you'll have to concentrate on it specifically. And because you it's not coming for your boards, so you'll have to spend a little more extra time. And then you have to have a lot of confidence. And yes, IP mat is cracked. So when I don't basic maths, it's the foundation in maths. It is percentages, averages, ratio proportion, SICI, profit and loss, time, speed and distance, linear equations, linear algebra. I might have missed a few. So you get the idea. These are the very basic level maths, which your foundation of the math stands on. So you should be really thorough with these. Uh, there are questions from these in all your JIP mat, IPM, indoor, IP mat, Rotak. So in all these papers, the questions are asked and you need to be really thorough with your sixth to 10th math. So go do redo your books or you can uh, prefer the books like Arun Sharma, Adi Sharma. Uh, and, you know, uh, practice a lot and make sure you're very thorough with it. Once you're done with this step, you can move on to the 11th grade math. So in your 11th grade, you can concentrate on your NCRT topics. Uh, mainly, you should concentrate on matrices, determinants, permutations, and combinations. So these are the basic uh, things which are in your 11th grade. And these are uh, pretty important for your IPMAT indoor. Uh, in Rotak, very few questions from these comes. But in indoor, a huge chunk of questions come, mainly from the permutations and combinations. So make sure you do these. And then comes your 12th grade math. So in 12th grade, again, you can look up to NCRT. So NCRT is available even in a PDF form, so you can just download it and go through the topics. Uh, 12th grade, I would suggest go only through basics uh, because there are vectors and other things which are not necessary for IPMAT. So basic topics like logarithms, probability, functions, and if you have time and if you are willing to do it, interview can also. So uh, NCRT helps. And there's a, another video which is coming up about what books you need to refer. So you can surely look up to that for solving questions and others. So when we come to 12th grade math, uh, just look up at the basic stuff. Don't go very much in detail. Even in your matrices and determinants of 11th, uh, much detail is not needed. But how to go about it, a uh, basic overall or an overview of the whole thing is required. So put in a little more effort, put in a little more time, and have confidence in yourself, and you can clear IP mind. Thank you. I hope this helped you guys. Please like and subscribe, and also uh, look up to the Univoyage website for Uniprime and other courses.